Hello all, welcome back to Shaving with Peg Leg. Welcome to my barbershop, come in and have a seat and we'll be with you in just a minute since we're done with this fat guy in the camera here. Alright, today soap, we're doing a face shave with Sumatra Razor. I got it sitting in hot water right now. With a once used Supermax Platinum. I have the Supermaxes in titanium, and I think I prefer those just a little bit more over the Platinum. Even though I do like the Platinums, I, I think I prefer the titaniums. And we're using Barrister and Man Hollows. <clears throat> this is a nice, earthy scent. The scent, scents in it are vetiver, oak moss, black pepper, labdanum, cedar and coca the heaviest scent I get from this is definitely going to be the the earth moss and cedar the excuse me oak moss or, because it's definitely a heavy heavy earthy smell to it and I have you see that pour you see how it looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup but reversed where the peanut butter is on the outside and the chocolate's on the inside. That's the reason I don't scoop just from the top. You've got two different variations of, of the pour there, of the soap blend. You've got two variations. If you just take scrape from the top or just swirl your brush on the top, you don't get that scent note there. That's the reason I, I, I do little pie wedges. And we also have the balm, and we'll, little, we'll use a little musk, something a little earthy to it itself. <clears throat> As you may have noticed by the thumbnail, <clears throat> excuse me, every damn time, you don't know how many times I've cleared my throat before I turn this flipping camera on, <clears throat> and it still gets me, every time. <sighs> okay. This razor, let's, I'm going to talk about the razor first, then we'll talk about the shave. This razor has a 0 0.89 millimeter gap, weighs 53.515 grams or 1.888 ounces, is 91.15 millimeters in length. Or 3.589 inches in length. Put that back in the warm water to keep the blade hot. Okay. Today, as you notice by the thumbnail, I'm doing a shave out of a toilet bowl. Yes, you heard that correct. Doing a shave out of a toilet bowl. Just to show you, it can be done. If you're that desperate for a shave, you can shave from a toilet bowl. You guys ready? Here's the toilet bowl. It's my new shave bowl. It's a coffee cup. But it's a deep coffee cup. And when I saw it, I thought... That will make a perfect, perfect lather bowl. So yes, oh crud. I forgot my, uh, my pre-shave again. So what we'll do is take a squirt of this, the hand soap, since it's got glycerin in it. And we'll just give a little wipe across the face like that and apply the warm lather I love the scent of this now Chris at IMCBD would not I do not think I was actually surprised he liked um, 
Full Measure of Man by Barrister and Man. All right, guys. I want to thank everybody for returning and everybody who watches my videos. I thank you all. I thank you for subscribing. If you're viewing first time or come back and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Help me grow this thing. I know I'll probably pick up subscriptions once I get to doing more expensive razors than what I'm doing now. And nobody wants to see the cheapies. But for you new guys, the reason I started my channel, I'll go into this real quick. The reason I started my channel is I was in rehab after I lost my right leg. And I was in rehabilitation center. And I had my laptop and I was watching videos and Mr. G Shaves video popped up in my feed on the right hand side and I clicked on it and I watched and I was like hmm and I started searching around I found other ones and I watched other people shaving videos and for two three months I started subscribing to all these different channels but I noticed a trend it was who has the most expensive razor to shave with that's all I kept seeing is who had the most expensive razor who has the most all right, I'm coming out with, a, I'm going to shave with a $175 razor. And the next guy would come out the next day or two days later. I'm going to shave with a $210 razor. And then the next guy would come out a couple days after that going, I'm going to shave with a $225 razor. And then they started getting, you know, even pricier. I'm like, guys, where's the videos for the guys, the cheap bastards, the poor bastards like me who can't afford those? Who can only afford the cheaper stuff where's your review of this stuff to show that it's actually viable feasible to shave with a more inexpensive razor to show that it actually works so anyways we're gonna go with this with the grain first So I was sitting there watching these videos and I'm thinking, you know what, if these guys aren't going to do it, and they're all established, I'll do it. I will do, I'll do the cheap, the cheap bastard videos. For the people that don't want to spend that much. Or can't spend that much. Don't get me wrong, I'm not taking anything away from them. If they can afford to do that, that's fine. Some of them get those expensive razors sent to them by the companies just to test and do a video on and, and hopefully get positive feedback on. But yeah, when I'm sitting there going, when I was I had at that time, really was my Vanderhagen that I got when I was 35, and I got that as a set for um, a birthday present. And it's all I shaved with, you know, and it, honestly, I never even thought about going online to look for shaving gear. I, I it actually never crossed my flipping mind. The only thing I knew that was out there was flipping Barbasol or Gillette in a can and whatever whatever double-edged razors I could find at the drugstore or Walmart. And then Walmart stopped carrying them. Well, mine did. And then <clears throat> all I could get them at was Walgreens. I was like, damn. And then I started watching these videos going, oh, and I started looking on, on eBay and Amazon. And it's like, holy crap, there's a ton of shit out there I didn't even know about. And I was like, okay, maybe I'm not the only one that is freaking ignorant here and not knowing anything about all this shit out there. But the thing that got me was, you know, because I see these guys coming up with all these different razors and it's like, the bells go off. You're like, ding, ding, ding. There's, there's stuff out there that you don't know about. And you start doing the research and you're finding all this stuff and you're like... And 
and it's just like, come on guys, not everybody's going to buy a $225 razor, $170 razor. Some guys aren't even going to buy a $60 or $70 razor. It's, a lot will put, put a $30 cap on what they're spending. You know, it's like, and as more I got into this rabbit hole of soaps and finding different scents, I'd always said the scent's not that, the scent's a bonus. The scent of the soap was a bonus. It, you didn't need it. You, I still don't need it. It is a bonus. It's nice to have it, something that smells nice. But it's not needed. Is this type of soap needed? Yes, I think it is. Um, everybody's used Barbasol. Everybody started with Barbasol in their wet shaving journey when they started with cartridge razors. Cartridge razors are wet shaving because you use water to rinse your face, to wet your face, whatever, before you shave. It is wet shaving. What we do is double-edged shaving. Barbasol is, once, once you've used any of these types of soaps, you realize how, how crap Barbasol is. I'm sorry, Sinatra Lennon, I know you like your Barbasol, but honestly, I find this stuff, this hand soap with glycerin in it, slicker than Barbasol. Not as foamy, but it is definitely slicker. And like I said recently, I tried the Gillette 20 years ago, 22 years ago, whatever, the Gillette um, gel in a can. That was god awful too. Guys, this razor's doing really well. But it's got a really good blade in it. This was supposed to come with five blades. It said Sumatra razor with five blades. It never showed a picture of what blade you would get. I figured maybe they'd be Dorcos or Treats or something. Lord or whatever. Some lower end brand razor that they always give you with these. But when I got it, it had no blades. It was just the razor. Am I going to complain? No, because I'm not worried about getting another package of treat or flipping Dorcos. But yeah, th that was my whole thing. It was like, not everybody's buying these. I, it's, it's neat to see, don't get me wrong, it's neat to see somebody shave with them. It's nice to watch that and dream about it someday, you know. But not everybody can do it. So it's, it's nice to watch somebody shave with it. But if you're going to test gear, let's test some stuff everybody can afford. Everybody can afford this razor. It was under $15. I forgot to look up the price before we started. You want to give me a second? I will. Thirteen twenty-four. Thirteen twenty-four. It was listed at free shipping, wood tax. I paid fourteen seventeen for this razor. Gunmetal handle, gold cap, gold gold shaped razor head. Thin. Yes, it has overhang, but it has a zero point eight nine gap. Hang on a second, guys. I 
I was telling you guys the other day about a single ring that was on eBay. bid on that one yesterday. Matter of fact, I was bidding on that while um, I was watching IMCDB's um, Instagram broadcast with the 50 flipping gifts they gave away that I didn't win anything on. But I'm not a lucky person, anyways. I never win anything. The only reason I run, I won that 1960 uh, flare tip, Gillette flare tip from from Kurt over at um, the Cutthroat Journey, is because I think he only had eight people in the in the giveaway. And I was still surprised I won. I'm just one of those people that's not lucky at all. I, I don't even play the Florida Lottery. Or I haven't played it in years. I did when it first came out for a couple months and then I gave it up because I never won anything. Uh, I never even won the $2 or a free ticket or anything. <laughs> I just, I'm not a lucky person. Guys? My usual, my turkey neck. But this, sometimes, this is clean. This right here is clean. Yeah, I'm going to redo the whole neck. But yeah, I, I, won, the, I won the single ring. Um... Twenty-one fifty five dollars shipping plus tax. I paid twenty. What was it twenty seven sixty or something like that? What? Twenty one. Twenty seven forty seven. Excuse me. I can do simple math in my head, yes. It just takes me a little longer than most. But, yeah. And if I was reading, which I probably wasn't because the picture wasn't that clear, but if I was reading the serial number right, it's a, it could be a 1907 for less than $30. I thought that was a heck of a deal. So this week, or this past week, I was able to check off two of my wants of my vintage Gillettes. I got to check off the Fat Handle Tech. I bought that. And that one is still for sale. For I think I think it's thirty dollars. I think it's twenty nine ninety nine plus I think five bucks shipping. The chrome one, beautiful condition. That thing is spotless. So if you're interested, it's there. And I also got uh, I crossed up another one. I got a single ring. I want a double ring. I want a nineteen oh three or nineteen oh four double ring still. Which is going to cost me. Still right there. And yes, I'm going to chase baby butt.
I got it. So that's cross up. I got the other two razors that were made in 64, my birth year. I've got to get those because I have the uh, the slim twist adjustable. Guys, if you want a Gillette Black Beauty, get one now. If you've ever considered buying a Black Beauty, ever thought about it, if it's ever been a want, get it now. I bought mine five, six months ago for $20 shipped. That was before the tax was instituted too. But I got mine for 20 bucks shipped. And I noticed yesterday that they're going up. They're be anywhere between 25 and 45 now for a Black Beauty. Um, and the ones that are near 40, 45 are like the condition mine's in that I got for 20 bucks. Also, I checked on the price of a toggle just because John June's got me kind of interested in one now because it's been shaving so well for him and doing so well in his comparison test. Yeah, one without a box, and it was an F4, which you want the D1, which was the first run. They had a, a D1, a run in D for D1, and I think it was 58, and then 60, they did another run for F4. Um, that was the second run of them. But if you if you want the original, it's a D1. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For like new, looks like it's never been used with the original blades it was sold with in its original case. You're looking between a thousand and twelve hundred bucks. And for the, yeah, I saw one for two fifty five. But it, it was an F4. The F4s aren't as expensive as the D1s. The F4 toggle was two fifty five with no case. No blade pack, nothing. It was just just the toggle razor. We're gonna stuff it in an envelope and mail it to you for two hundred fifty-five. And it's not even a D1. It's like, yeah. All right, John. They may be good shavers. I, oh, I didn't feel anything with the gallon. Nothing. Under fifteen dollars. Great little shaver. Seriously, no blood, no vampirism, nothing. Little Walgreens Witch Hazel. So yeah, but the Black Beauties, if you've been thinking about getting a Black Beauty, which is a good razor, I love my Black Beauty, I just haven't used it in a while because I've been doing these comparisons. Um, it's a great razor. And if, if you get if you get a twist to open that doesn't hold your blade tight enough, you can always put a spacer on top, underneath the blade or on top of the blade, depending which way your razor is closed. This is just an old blade. I just cut the tabs down a little bit and I cut the blade off of it. I cut it back maybe a sixteenth of an inch and cut the blade off. And that's all a spacer is. It's an old blade. You just cut the blade off trim the tabs back a little bit too if you want you don't have to trim the tabs back a little musk so how'd you enjoy the toilet shave I think that is the funniest freaking coffee mug ever And it worked very well as a shaving mug. I know when you guys saw that thumbnail, you're going, what the hell is this idiot going to do now? Hollows aftershave balm. I'm just going to scrape that little bit 
off the lid. Oh God, that feels good. It smells good too. I love that scent. That's a great scent. You know me, I like my dark scents. But yeah, if you're looking at um, vintage razors, um, the 1960 Gillette um, flare tip that I won from Kirk over at uh, Cutthroat Journey, that razor is going anywhere from 25 to 35 now. So if you're interested in getting one of those, just you just gotta look. I mean, they're out there. Just about everything is out there. There's even double rings on there too. There's a there was last I looked there was a 1903 double ring on there, in the kite in the case, but the guy wants like 800 bucks for it, and there's no way I can do 800 dollars. Wish I could. I would love to have that in my collection, but oh well. And this this single ring I have coming in. I thought about take, say, taking send it off the Razor Emporium getting it replated, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to think, I think I'm going to keep it with its original patina. It's got a little crack in the handle, which you can't, you can fix them, but they always crack again, so there's no sense of worrying about that. But, you got to have, if certain razors you're looking at, I would seriously consider trying to get them soon because the prices just are going up and up and up all right guys great smelling shave great soap barrister and man I love their soap shaved out of a toilet bowl you can get this I got the last one on eBay for $14.99 shipped the other one I saw was $16.99 I think you want a four dollar shipping and they're also on Amazon for I think $16.99, but they also want shipping, so. But I got the last one for $14.99 shipped. I was happy. Anyways, great mug. It's flipping heavy, guys. This thing, this thing weighs well over a pound. It sits in the it sits in the hot water real well to heat up your lather. My lather was nice and warm. Nice and warm. It's, it's got enough weight to sit down in there. An under $15 razor. Great shave. No blood. Always a great shave when there's no blood. Close. Decent weight. Good blade gap. Thin head for you guys that need to get up here. I don't have to worry about that. Alright. Anyways, enough from the babbling fat guy. You all take care. Have a good day. Done with the fat guy in the camera. You're in the chair next. Happy shaves out there, guys.